Hello guys, this is Chris Wolf and this is my friend Hoggy. He is a penitent archetype. This archetype can be purchased in the Zen store and let's see his powers. His first attack is Reaper Touch. A series of rapid slashes that generate energy. His second attack is a slash. A combo of three strikes that can apply the bleed debuff to the enemies as well the Shredded debuff. The Shredded reduces the enemy's resistance to slashing damage by 18% for 15 seconds and is considered a type of gaunt effect. Bleed is also a gaunt effect. Ok, to close the distance between the enemies, I choose Thunderbolt Launch. His fourth attack is Lacerated Cyclone. An attack that swears a heavy chain that can apply the bleed debuff with a small chance and bring targets towards us with the Vortex Technique advantage. His fifth power is a reverse launch called Evasive Maneuvers that has been turned into a threat wipe to turn our hero invisible for a few moments. His sixth power is Masterful Dodge that reduces incoming damage by mitigating it, dodging the attacks and reducing the percentage of damage taken by the avoidance score. His seventh attack is Barbed Lariat, an attack that can jank an enemy toward us and refresh the bleed debuff and apply restoration. His final power is Gounded Chainsaw. can deal a lot of damage. Ok, let's talk about the passive powers of this archetype. I choose Way of the Warrior over Unstoppable for the dodge and avoidance boost, but uh, let's read the full effects. Increases your melee and bleed damage by 89%. Increases all other damage by 36%. Grants 20% dodge chance and 64 avoidance rating. And whenever an enemy dodge one of your attacks, you gain 10% energy. His secondary energy unlock is called Wild Thing. Wild Thing will 
generate energy whenever we apply refresh or rupture a bleed stack or stacks and his tool form is aspect of the bestial that grants stacks of enrage for each rank of this power you have. In addition, you gain an stack of enrage when you apply refresh or rupture, bleed or deadly poison on a foe. This can occur every once every four seconds. Each stack of enrage increases your melee damage by 11% and your ranged damage by 5.3%. For 20 seconds, when you gain a stack of enrage, you gain 35 points of energy. Enrage stacks up to 8 times and gaining a new stack refreshes all of your existing stack. Whenever this power is on, your energy costs are increased by 10%. And I choose to have antagonize as his block power as it provides different bonuses depending on the attack distance of the enemy. So, now that the powers have been explained, let's test his powers on the battle simulator. Okay, let's see. Let's train against Viper. Normal opponents and three enemies as usual. Let's keep We survived. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you like it, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I wish you happy holidays and take care.
Chris Wolf out.